She is part of the star-studded cast of JL Family Ranch, The Wedding Gift, and we are thrilled to welcome her into our Hallmark family. She's a classic beauty inside and out. Please welcome from her ranch in Santa Barbara, Bo Derek. Bo, welcome. welcome, Bo. Thank you. It's good to virtually be with you. <laughs> My goodness, looks like it's a nice day at your ranch. Look at the horses. It's beautiful. And look yeah, at your got giant the doggy. In the yeah, there are two more wandering around. <laughs> is that Chico you have there? This is Chico. Chi. Oh my Amazing, Bo. This is my shadow. He is mine. I don't deserve this adoration and devotion, Aww. honestly. Oh, sure we you think do. you do. Sure you do. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this great movie. You play Claudia Dupree, an event planner who not only plans the upcoming family wedding in the film, she's also got some plans of her own regarding her romance with John Landsberg, played by the amazing John Voight. So, You've known yes. John's family for years, so do you remember this photo right here holding co-star Skylar Shea as a baby? Incredible. Oh, oh my gosh, yes, I do. Um, this was a strange story. Uh, my husband, John Derrick, had had a heart attack just a couple of weeks before this photo, and I knew the Stephen Paul family, the, the producers of this movie, Stephen Paul, and I've known him for 30, 40 years, something like that. And um, he called, worried about John, and I said, well, he's fine, but he has to rest for a good eight weeks. And he said, oh, I've got to come up and see him. I said, no, nah, it's not really a good time. Well, the whole family, John Boyd, <laughs> I think Angelina was there, oh, this gorgeous girl, teenager. Um, and uh, they all came, and it was exactly what the doctor did not order. <laughs> But we had a great time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it all worked out. Now you've come completely full circle playing Claudia in this movie with both John Voight and Skylar. Tell us a little bit about Claudia before we look at this clip. You know, she's a divorcee. She's on a road trip with her brother who has a magazine that reviews um, bed and breakfast. And that's part of the storyline in the JL Ranch. And um, so she comes with her brother and finds this incredible family, this beautiful ranch, and a really cool, gorgeous, uh, great cowboy. That's yeah. right. Who John Boyd. Who she does a little bit of flirting with and, and leaves him a little flustered, or verklempt, if you will. Let's take a look. <laughs> well, I got to get to some chores now. It was so nice uh, of you to stay. Very good to meet you. Mind if I tag along? Well, it's just chores. I'm not gonna ask you to do that. Why? Because I'm a woman. No, I, I, I raised two strong, independent daughters. So, look, if you, uh, sure, come on. Okay. Let's do it. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> oh, God, we love this movie so oh. much. It is such a sweet film. I know that it is, it's, it's one of John Voight's favorites as well, he told us when he was here. Now, John Voight is not the only man you have left flustered in your life. As a matter of fact, you have left many men flustered as you've graced the walls of nearly every young man's room at some point or another with your iconic corn road look from the movie 10. And as a matter of fact, your co-star Judson Mills told us that he had a hard time talking to you on set because he was like, I'm talking to Bo Derek. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You know, I don't, I have no, that's, that's like putting on my work uniform. Um, and so Judson was great. It was great to meet him, but you never know, do you? Well, you know, I, you, please let me know if this is a true story. I heard that that famous corn road look was actually your idea that you went in to read that way with the cornrows. Is that true? Um, I already had the part, Blake Edwards, greatest filmmaker, um, hired me for the part. It's a very small part um, for the impact it had on my life, for sure. Um, but it was, I lived in, an, in a neighborhood where there was big African-American community. My mother was um, Anne Margaret's hairdresser and best friend. So up in Vegas, her background, her uh, backup singer had this beautifully braided hair. So I asked for her hairdresser and um, I tried it out, took some pictures with it, and went into Blake's office. And he was a bit nervous, I think, and not not too sure about it. But um, 
he said it was okay to use, and it's a bit controversial now, I know, um, because of culture and certain ethnic groups owning culture. At that time, it was just something that I, I loved, I thought was beautiful. Um, and I can't tell you how many women, African-American women, came up to me and said, thank you for, for uh, choosing this hairstyle. Now I can wear it to my place of work. It's accepted. Um, I didn't mean to do it for that reason. I wouldn't do there do today, but um, it was only good intentions. I promise. Of course, Bo. I mean, it was show well stopping. Said. It was show stopping. Show stopping. No one was going to forget you walking down that beach. That's for sure. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, Judson has already talked about it. I had the poster in my room. I'm just Everyone saying. Everyone here had the poster. And I'm sure your partner John Corbett may have too. I'm, I'm not just sure, sure, but you guys have been together now 15 years. And it's amazing, really, to think about saying that back in the day, when you first became famous, you say it was tough for you to, you know, to go out on dates and everything. So, but how did it all come to be with the amazing John Corbett? Well, I was with my husband, who passed away um, t over 20 years ago now, and I was five years single, and I didn't date. I have so many wonderful friends. I would rather go to dinner with them than a stranger. And I just kept telling my friends who tried to fix me up on dates, um, I'll know it, I'll just know it. Sparks will fly and that's when um, I will be interested in someone, but at this point I'm not. And uh, then there was um, an event that I was taking a girlfriend to, Night of 100 Stars, a, an Oscar party, a great one. And I was supposed to go with Merv Griffin, who was a dear friend, and he got the flu and then I got a call about John Corbett escorting us, and uh, I mean, he's fabulous. And sure enough, <laughs> I I opened the door when he came to pick me up, and there were the sparks, and everything clicked, and uh, that was it for me. I was a goner. I mean, my goodness. Aiden was standing at your doorstep. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And now, 18 years later, we're still together, oh. and we have this wonderful lifestyle, and we're very lucky people. Oh, that's oh my goodness. Bro. You guys are such yeah. a great example of a wonderful, loving relationship. We should all be so lucky. I know you guys also love dogs as much as we do around here, so much so yes. that you even created your own doggy shampoo that benefits a really great cause. Tell us about that, Bo. Yeah, I created, um, it's Boderic Pet Care, and it's uh, grooming products because our dogs aren't, aren't stuck in the backyard tied by a chain anymore. They're in our homes, but they still smell. And mine especially <laughs> being around all the manure, they're either rolling it or they're eating it. Oh, my and goodness. And so um, I created this line, and I have a patented fragrance that actually neutralizes bad doggy odors and lasts for weeks. It's been a fun project because it's my passion, and we we um, benefit retired military working dogs as a company because, uh, I mean, they do so much for us, these dogs, and so I want to help anybody who retires a military working dog. Yeah, that's Bo, so you're amazing. Congrats on everything. Thank you for taking the time. I could speak yeah. with Bo Derek all day long. I mean, honestly, a perfect example of beautiful on the inside Anytime. and out. Yeah, that's the truth. You're Anytime. Fantastic. I'm so happy to be part of the Hallmark family now. Wow. This has been a fantastic experience. Oh, we're thrilled to have you part, be part of the family, Bo. Thank you so much. Everybody at home, JL Family Ranch, the wedding gift premieres Sunday, September 27th at 9 p.m. 8 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Check it out. That's right.